DJ here with the Chief Peak, and today we're going to be doing a full body resistance band workout. So for this workout, we're going to be doing six exercises in total, and we're going to do them one at a time. We're going to do three sets of each exercise. Our working time is 40 seconds, our break time is 20 seconds, and then in between the different exercises, we'll then take a 40 second extended break. If you like this workout, hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel and be sure to get our free seven day workout routine at AchievePeak.com. Now let's get to work. All right, we got about 30 seconds until we get started. Our first exercise is going to be lateral lunges. Oh, and be sure if you have a fitness tracking watch to start your workout now. So our first exercise is going to be lateral lunges. So we're going to take our bands, we're going to drop them onto the ground. And then we're going to put our feet at each end. I like to keep my feet on the bands and then kind of spread them out um, like that. We're going to grab the bands in the center and then we're going to uh, lateral lunge side to side. So there we go. We're going to drop down to one side, come back up and then go to the opposite side. There we go. Good controlled movements. So when you're doing this, you want to try to sit back into the heel. You don't want to uh, be super far forward like leaning and have a ton of weight on your toes like that. Here we go. Feel the stretch out. Try to go a little bit deeper every rep. Here we go. Push up with that leg. There we go. Feeling good. Come on. Last one here. Boom. Here we go. We got 20 seconds and then we're going right back into it. So we get three sets in a row of this. Should be fun. Trying to wear it out. That's why I like the one at a time format. Really get to keep pumping blood into it. Here we go. Let's go. Back into lateral lunges. Again, try to sit back into the heels. Keep the back nice and straight. Here we go. Try to go down as far as you can here. There we go. Come on. Feeling legs starting to catch fire. If you can't get any more reps after a bit of time, then just drop the bands. Or if you have multiple bands, start reducing it by one band at a time. Try to keep going. Let's get one more. There we go. Drop them down. We got one more set of these, and then we're moving on. Here we go, start getting ready. Spread those out. There we go. Let's go. I'm gonna switch sides and start with here. Come on. Feel the burn. Embrace the burn. Let's go. If you have to, you can just start trying to do like a sumo squat like that. If you need, give you a couple options because Hopefully, it's getting real tough and maybe you're getting to failure. Here we go. Come on. Let's go. Keep pushing. Sit back in the heels. One more. Here we go. Sit down nice and easy. All right, we got a 40 second break and then we're going into RDLs, Romanian deadlifts. Pick those up. All right, so for RDLs, well, this time around, I'm actually gonna stand on the bands with both feet, and I'm gonna pull it up and over like this, and do mine like that. So slight bend in the knees, bending at the back. If you don't like that, you can also just choke up on them and hold them like this when you do it. But I like this because it keeps tension the entire time. So slight bend in the knees. There we go. Bending at the hips, pushing the butt back, coming back. We're not doing this. We're not bending that lower back. Stretching out the hamstrings, coming back up. Making the hamstrings pull your upper body back up straight. There we go. Feel them stretch, go down as far as you can. So it's okay if you can only maybe go to here, 
before your back starts to bend, then just come back up there. And every rep, again, try to get a little deeper. Allow them to stretch out. There we go. Let's get one more. There we go. Ooh, 20 seconds. We're going back into RDLs. You really want to be feeling that stretch right here in the back of the legs between the glutes and the knees. Here we go. Let's get ready. Here we go. Sink that butt back. Slide in the knees, bending at the hips, not at the lower back. Come back up. Feeling it stretch, pulling it back up. Come on. Halfway. Let's go. Embrace the burn. If you don't do these often, you'll probably feel some soreness tomorrow. Let's go. Last one. There we go. Good reps right there. 20 seconds. Going back into RDLs for our third set. Here we go. Got about five seconds left. Pull them up. Let's go. Slide bending the knees. Coming down. Back up. Keep that head up, chest out. There we go. So if you look down like this, your back will start to bend. If you keep your head up and looking out, it forces your back to stay nice and straight. Here we go, halfway, let's go. Keep pushing. Feel that stretch, come back up. Feel that stretch, come back up. 10 seconds. Let's go. Get one more. There we go. Oh, we got a 40 second break and then we're going into seated rows. So our next two exercises are seated. There we go. So I'm just gonna drop those down there. Bring my water and my towel down here with me. There we go. Going into seated rows. So for rows, make sure to wrap the band around your foot completely or both feet. Do not just loop it around the sole of your shoe. From here, we're gonna stand up nice and tall and then we're gonna keep our arms low and we're gonna row just like that. Here we go. Sit nice and tall, pull back. There we go. Pull back. Come on, let's go. Palms should be facing the legs here. Let's go. Get that squeeze. Squeeze the back. Come on. You don't want to be like this either. We're not trying to injure the lower back, so keep it nice and stiff. And then come back. Let's go. Good controlled movement. Squeeze. Trying to burn that back up. Last one. There we go. Woo! Feeling the burn. So I currently have, is that 80, 120 pounds of resistance. I have our Achieve Peak Bands, the blue, purple, and black currently. Here we go, set two. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Keep that back nice and straight. Come down. If you want, you can have a slight lean back like that. Or you can be sitting up straight, nice and tall, like that. You do not want to be like this. Squeeze. Squeeze. Come on. Don't forget to breathe. Let's go. Last one. There we go. Going into set three here. Woo, feeling the burn back there. Make sure when you're doing this too that you're not trying to kind of shrug your shoulders up. We want to keep those shoulders down. We've got uh, some trap workout coming here at the end, so don't worry. We got you. Here we go, set three. Nice straight back, pull it back, squeeze. Pull it back, oh, let's go. 
Ah, come on. Ah. Woo, here we go. Let's go. Ah. Ah. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Ah, let's go. Ah. Come on. Last one right here. Get the squeeze and release. Woo! Here we go. All right, set three is done. We're going into a uh, lying chest press next. So I'm actually going to grab another band here. So for this one, we got a 40 second break too. So for this one, I like to wrap the bands. You're going to need multiple bands though. Let's start with that. You're going to need, need multiple bands. I like to wrap mine around uh, my back like this. You can also put it through your armpits instead if you can't do it like this. So here we go, we're gonna lie back and then we're gonna press straight up. There we go, let's get ready. Here we go, so press straight up and then come back down. You're gonna wanna keep your elbows at about a 45 from your body, maybe even a little less. Press up, ah, come back down. Press up. I even like to, as I press up, bring my hands together, kind of clank the bands, let those rings hit, and come back down. Get that full contraction. There we go. Let's go. Ah, squeeze. Come on. Ah, squeeze. One more. Ah. There we go. So if you want, you can also do uh, this exercise standing too. I just like it uh, lying down, number one, because we are already on the ground. Number two, it kind of stabilizes the bands uh, behind you because you're laying on the band. So to me, it makes it a little better. Here we go. Set two. Let's go. There we go. Push up. Come on. Ah, squeeze the chest. Let's go. Ah. Come on. Ah, keep pushing. Woo! Embrace the burn. Ah, let's go. Ah, keep going. Ah, woo! Keep pushing. Ah, burn that chest up. That's what I'm talking about. Ah, one more. Ah, there we go. Uh, all right, going to set three here. Woo, so now I got uh, 170, no, 180 on there. 180 pounds in bands going on now. All right, last one. Let's go. Here we go. Press up, squeeze, come back down. Press up, squeeze, come back down. So here you can see. Bring them up and then together, feel that chest contract, squeeze with the chest. Come on. Let's go. Keep pushing. Let's go. Come on. Keep going. Couple reps. Let's go. Squeeze. Release. There we go. All right, next we got a uh, shoulder press coming up. I'm going to do my shoulder press kneeling. You can do yours standing if you choose. We got a 40 second break here. So for the shoulder press here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the band in between the legs, drop down onto a knee, let that band come up against my knee that is down. And then from here, I'm just going to press straight up and then come back down. So that's how we're going to do the shoulder press. Let's get ready. We got about five seconds left here. Come on. Let's go. Push up, back down. So when you're doing these, you want to make sure that your elbow is slightly in front of the shoulder like this. You don't want your elbows being back here like this. That's going to jeopardize the shoulder. So we want them out in front. Come back down. Ah, let's go. Burn them up. Ah, 
Let's go. Come on. Let's get one more. There we go. 20 seconds, we're going back into shoulder press. Woo. Feeling the burn. All right, here we go. Let's get ready again. Put that band back behind, that knee almost up under it. And then elbows just out in front. Push up, come back down. Push up, come back down. Full extension here. Feel those shoulders catch fire. Oh yeah. Let's go. Ah, come on. Halfway. Let's go. Make sure to push it all the way up. Feel those shoulders catch fire. Last one. There we go. Woo! Gotta shake it out. Shoulders are burning. Here we go. We got uh, eight seconds left on this break. Then we're going to set three, shoulder press. Woo! It's gonna be a burner. Let's go. Here we go. Up, and then come back down. Ah, get that full extension. Let those shoulders burn. Ugh. If you have to, you can start to alternate. Just doing one at a time to give the other one a little bit of break if needed. If not, let's keep the burn going. Come on. Ugh. Let's go. Make sure to keep the elbows in front of the shoulders. Ugh. Embrace the burn. Come on, two more. Ugh. Last one. Ah, woo! Just drop them. Ah, let's go 20 seconds or 40 second break and then we're going into chug high pull. Here we go. So for chug high pull, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our band or bands, step on them with both feet Make sure you have resistance the entire way. So down at the bottom, you can see me kind of spreading my feet out here. And then from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna shrug, and then we're gonna push those elbows back and get that high pull in. Really get that full contraction here. So shrug, and then elbows back, pull the arms up. Here we go. So when you're doing this, you don't want your head dropping down like this and then going like that. We don't wanna strain the neck. We wanna to try to keep that head up, bring the shoulders up, Elbows back, getting that extra little contraction out of this. Don't forget to breathe, standing nice and tall. It probably helps if you kind of look up where the ceiling and the wall meet. Ah, get that squeeze. Get that squeeze. There we go. Ah. There we go. Set one is done. I feel like on all the third sets today, my muscles have just caught fire on that third set. It was good, it was good, it was burning. Here we go. So shrug and then high pull. Keep that head up. Don't let it drop down like this. Shrug, high pull. So I'm trying on the high pull to push my elbows straight back. Don't let them flare out like that. Squeeze the traps. Up, squeeze those traps. Let's go. Come on. Let's push it. One more. There we go. Come on. So if you aren't wanting to do traps, I have seen on our community that a lot of ladies don't want to do traps. What you could do is a, a bent over reverse row and have your palms facing out away from you. So that is an option. Here we go. Third set right here and we're done. Shrug, eye pull. Let's go. Shrug, 
Now I pull. Come on. There's that fire. Oh yeah. Catching fire. Remember, head up. Shrug. Kick the elbows back. Ah, right, let's go. Shrug. I pull. Come on. Let's go. 15 seconds. Push it out. Shrug. I pull. Let's go. Come on. Let's keep going. Almost right there. There we go. So again, uh, like I was saying, let me grab a different band and I'll show you. In case you weren't wanting to do traps, um, what you could do is step on the bands, have your palms facing out, back straight, and then from here, row, and keep your arms, let them run right up the thighs like that. And you could substitute that for the shrug high pull. So then you're getting some lat work instead of trap work. Trap work. I know some ladies don't want the, the big traps, but they look pretty good if you ask me. Anyway, our workout is complete. I hope you enjoyed it. My muscles are on fire. I hope your muscles are on fire. If you like this workout, smash that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And be sure to get your seven-day free resistance band routine at AchievePeak.com. See you guys.